Well, I'm the senior rabbi of the synagogue that the, is the subject of the film and uh, have known, of course, the filmmaker since he was a little boy. Uh, now, of course, he's a grown man. And I think it's a beautiful and important story on two levels. One, the story of uh, the history of Los Angeles and the importance of preserving our past in order to enlighten our future. It's also the story of a young man rediscovering his own relationship uh, with his faith uh, through this process. So both of those stories are, are powerful and important. When you were being in interviewed about this documentary, what were some of the things that you wanted to really impact to the audience doing this project? That anything is possible, that the past matters and should be a very powerful way of informing your future, um, and that really great buildings and great architecture are only important if they inspire great deeds of uh, human kindness. Are there any iconic stories that like come to your mind when you think about the history of this place and things you've experienced? I know there are probably so many, so if you can pick like maybe one thing that you really resonated with you, can you share that with us? Well, as we kind of peeled away the layers of damage and started reconstructing and rebuilding, uh, I became even more in awe of the amazing vision and courage of the early moguls who built the place. Uh, you know, they didn't think small. And their ability to think big has helped me, you know, dream bigger dreams for the congregation. So, you know, these people like Louis B. Mayer and Irving Thalberg and the Warner Brothers and Carl Emley, they, they were really giants. They were giants uh, at a time when anything was possible in America. And they proved it. And now it's our job to prove it. What did you learn about yourself, you think, that you didn't learn it before? What did you find out new about yourself doing this project? that tenacity and perseverance are required and sacrifice is required for anything great to be accomplished. And uh, a willingness to fail, not to be afraid to fail, to play to win, not to play not to lose. Um, I think most people play not to lose. They don't really play to win. And if you don't play to win, very few great things can happen. So I... Um, And, and I learned that the past is worth preserving uh, it, and that it, it works on people in ways you just could never imagine. And any time we let a piece of our past slip away, uh, it's a much greater and more profound loss than I think any of us realize. This is probably a redundant question, but before I let you go, I'll ask it one more time. In terms of the, pro the film itself, when people see this film, what do you want the audience to come away with when they leave tonight? I hope that people come away with a greater respect for the past and greater optimism about the future. And we need that right now, definitely. Things are very crazy in the world at this point. Well, they always have been. Remember, this place, uh, this the, the synagogue opened its doors in that location, this grand building, in 1929 during the worst recession uh, and depression in the history of the United States of America. So, sure, we need that inspiration now, that faith and courage and optimism about the future, but we've always needed it, and it's always been uh, well-founded. Well, you know, every month I, I've devised that we should come up with a word, whether that's resilience, whether that's tenacity. What is the word for this month that you want to share with our audience that we should take with us? Uh, it's a Hebrew word, which is kadima, which I said many times when people got discouraged uh, during this project. So kadima in English means forward. That's the direction we move, always forward, kadima. Thank you so much. I'll remember kadima for this month and next month and going forward. Thank you for chatting with us. We can't wait to see the film. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here tonight.